and welcome to the 2020 presentation evening. It is with real sadness that you cannot be with us to celebrate this wonderful achievement you have all made during your final year at Chilton Trinity School. I do hope, wherever you are, this will go some way to celebrate the fantastic achievements by you all. May I take this opportunity to thank all the staff that have contributed towards making this evening a huge success. Provide a welcome, Mr. Lamb, our head teacher. A reminder, your GCSE certificates will be posted to you after this virtual presentation. If you have changed address since leaving school, please ring the school to confirm your new address. Parents, carers and students, when you receive your certificate, please check all certificates are correct of spellings and you have all certificates from all of your subjects. Any issues, please fill in the form accompanying these with your certificate and return the form to the school. Okay, so tonight is about celebrating your successes. You, our fabulous 2020 leaders. A time to laugh and rejoice in the experiences we have all shared during your time at Chilton Trinity School. To begin with, I would like to welcome Mr. Lamb. Evening, Mr. Lamb here. Hope you are well. Yes, it is me under all this hair. Uh, I've decided not to have a haircut during lockdown. I'll wait until it's over, whenever that is. So I might have uh, even longer hair than in, in a year's time. Wow, 2020, it's been such a challenging year for you. It continues to be a challenging year. Uh, and I'm very conscious that you've missed out on a number of things that are a rite of passage for, for a year 11 student. Leavers assembly, finishing your exams, uh, going through your exams, in fact, uh, prom, uh, then having a summer off where you're excited about the future and then moving into, into college work or training. That is really challenging and I'm really sympathetic towards the, the, the year that you've had uh, and I hope in some way uh, we're able to, to, to recreate the experiences that you had uh, virtually this evening. I'm so pleased we were able to arrange the Leavers Assembly uh, back in March. I think we pulled out all the stops to make sure that you had some semblance of normality there uh, and, they were, and that you were able to have your hoodies, albeit I know they were quite late in the year, but I'm sure you can understand the constraints that we were working with when we uh, tried to get those out to you. Uh, and I hope you appreciate and cherish and, and look back at your hoodie and think back of the five years that you've had here with, with fondness. Uh, as you know, people often say school should be the best years of your life. Uh, I completely disagree with that. I think they should be good, don't get me wrong. I think you should have a great time at school and you should look back on, with fondness on that. And I'm sure going to college now, or work or, or uh, training, you will look at, back at school and think, yeah, actually it wasn't too bad. And I hope you really enjoyed it. But you should be looking ahead to the future and thinking about your future and thinking about where you're going with your life. And I hope in some small way we've been able to influence that, influence that where you've, um, you're able to learn things from, from your experiences at school and take them forward into your adult life. Now, you may have heard that, that I am actually leaving at Christmas. I'm leaving Chilton Trinity School. I've taken up a headship at uh, the Castle School in, in Taunton. I'll start there on January the 4th. Uh, they have lots of contacts with, with Bridgewater and Taunton College and Richard Hewish, so I'm sure I will, I will see some of you again when I'm uh, perhaps uh, visiting uh, those schools once we, once we those colleges once we're able to, to do that. Please also remember you are always part of the Chilton Trinity School family. That never changes. And if you ever need our support with anything, please do get in touch uh, and let us know because I'd be happy to help in any way I can, even though I won't be working at the school uh, after Christmas. Uh, you're more than welcome to contact me at the Castle, the, the Castle School. Best of luck for the future. I'm wishing you all the best for Christmas. I hope you have a great Christmas. I hope you have a great year in 2021 uh, and take care of yourselves. Thank you, Mr. Lamb. Tonight, I stand in front of you for most probably the final time, the final time for you as a Chilton Trinity student. 
It was not the way it was meant to be, of course. The prom, but tonight, of course. But I would take many a fond memory with me and thank you all for the time we shared together. Long after you've forgotten the periodic table or Pythagoras' theory, and possibly whether the apostrophe goes before or after the S, you will remember your friends, teachers and staff who have worked with you at Chilton Trinity School. You will remember the times that you've laughed, the times you cried, and the times of discovery and learning. You remember the people who you shared those moments with. As well as the people, you will also remember the special times your Year 7 camp, ski trips, Duke of Edinburgh, sports days with his victories and losses, and of course your final Year 11 Leavers Assembly. At these times, please pause and remember and pray to the friends who walked with you through your time at Chilton Trinity School. Some of these may have journeyed with you from primary school and many will continue the journey with you into your post-16 choice. Let us also remember the staff who have taught you, the staff who have cared for you, and the staff whose work supported your progress onto your next chapter. Now, may I take this opportunity to give you some words of advice as you tackle the next chapter of your life. Now, no doubt you're at home thinking, well, I never listened to Mr. Payne last year, so why now? But please give me a few minutes of your time and take on board what I'm about to say. As you go on to your next chapter of your journey, remember the many talents you have. You are talented beyond your imagination. Cast your net wide and be courageous about meeting people, about having a go at something you have not done before. Continue to have big dreams and ambitions. Do not only stick to friends who are like you. Reach out and listen to those who have had different interests and backgrounds. And most importantly, volunteer some of your time. Learn from your mistakes. We all make mistakes but it's how you respond to failure that creates you. Samuel Beckett once said, ever tried, ever failed, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better. All the unhappiest people that I know have never failed at anything. There are many friendships that I have seen flourish during your time here that are built on mutual respect and love for each other. Remember to put your friendships first. Your GCSE grades won't define you. They are the stepping stones to the next part of your journey through your life. The quality of your friendships is the measure that will matter at school and beyond. As you get older, you will get to know yourself better. Always, always be true to yourself. Never try to be what you are not. Back yourself and be yourself. And finally, no matter whether you got the exam results you were expecting, you are at the start of a journey that is yet underdefined. Grab that precious opportunity with both hands and be bold. Get the little things right, be on time, treat others kindly, and work hard. 2020 Leavers, it is with real privilege to work alongside you last year, a year that I will never forget. I wish you all the happiness for your future successes. It gives me great pleasure now to announce our subject prizes and awards for services to the school.
worthy recipient of the Belston Trophy for community service goes to Natalie Smith. Natalie is a talented individual, a keen runner in our local community and also a fantastic musician. She has often delighted us in assemblies and concerts with her singing and guitar playing abilities. And during lockdown, she kept up the spirits of the local community by playing virtual concerts through Young Somerset, an organisation that engages and supports young people across the county. A very well done, Natalie, and I wish you every success for the future. Hello, everyone. It gives me great pleasure this year to award the Big Al Shield Services to Drama to someone who, throughout their time at Chilton, has shown commitment, enthusiasm in all aspects of drama. They have been part of every school production from The Lion King back in Year 7 right the way through to Alice in Wonderland in Year 11. I am immensely proud of their GCSE work. I was only just sad I didn't get to see their final performance. I knew it would have been amazing. So this year's Big Al Shield Services to Drama goes to Laura Rose de Viris. Well done. Good evening 2020 Leavers, much love to you all. I'm here today to talk about the Bissell Award for Excellent Work in English. And when determining who to give this award to, the English department and I were in a very privileged position in that we were easily able to identify 12 or so possible winners that would have all made very worthy and credible um, winners indeed. And so quickly, we were in a difficult position in looking at how do we eliminate this really strong field down to just one individual, which is always a difficult position to be in. After much thought and conversation, we decided to award the Bissell Award to Katie Williams. And what set Katie apart in this instance was her sheer passion and collaboration and thought for others. Happily, we have many wonderful students who really excel at at English in our school. Katie is of course one of them, but what set her apart was her determination to share that excellence with others. And this we felt as a team was what made Katie the person we'd like to award this to. So congratulations Katie, thank you for everything you gave to English and all the very best of luck going forwards. We all have every faith that you're going to do something wonderful with our subject. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts and wishing all 2020 leavers every success. We miss you all very much. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye. Good evening. For sheer dedication, enthusiasm and passion for both subjects, a great performer which comes from the result of hard work enthusiasm and effort. I'd like to thank and welcome and congratulate Malachi Pitti on uh, achieving the Music and Drama Award. Well done. never an easy decision to select one student to represent both of our subject, subject disciplines. There are often several candidates who excel across the fields of maths and science. This year, however, the selection process was made easier by the hard work, talent and dedication of one student. They have performed consistently well throughout their time at Chilton and have secured top grades in every assessment during their truncated time in Year 11. On top of all of this, they are a thoroughly nice chap. The award for 2020 goes to Mr. Joel Cross. Good evening all. Um, it's a great pleasure I get to present the Curling Cup uh, for the female sporting athlete in year 11 last year, whose dedication to sport and known just her talent but her hard work has proved really effective for the teams that she's played in. Um, she played in a rounders team which was successful over many years, a football team 
that had great success, particularly in the last year, in year 10 and year 11. So it's a great pleasure I get to present the award for the Coding Cup this year to Morgan Palfrey. Well done, Morgan. Evening all, it's a great pleasure that I get to present the Coding Cup for the male sports person who has achieved great things at Chilton Trinity and for someone who has shown great attitude towards sport and PE, not just only in his core PE, but in BTEC PE over the last three years. It's a great pleasure I, I get to present the award to Riley Burke. Uh, I know that you've continued your sporting career at Bridgewater College and that's fantastic. So well done Riley and you deserve this massively with your enthusiasm and infectious way that you are in PE. Well done buddy. to award one of the joint uh, awards for the Tom Flitton Award for a student who has made the most academic progress during their time at Chilton Trinity. I'm very pleased to say that award is going to Oliver Woods. Well done Oliver, amazing result. This year's Tom Flitton Progress Award for working very hard at academic studies goes to Charlie Mantle. Charlie is an extremely conscientious student and has always strived to produce work of a high standard. Charlie applied himself to a range of subjects and worked tirelessly to master the content, seeking clarity when needed. It would not be uncommon to find Charlie with a nose in a book during lunchtime and supporting friends in their studies also. This strong work ethic and commitment and dedication to his studies has paid off. It's rare to find a student so focused and so determined in putting their studies first and always doing so with a smile. Mrs Mayhead says that Charlie always brightened everyone's day and was a true inspiration of a hard-working student. Well done, Charlie. A truly deserved award for some tremendous, tremendous results. Congratulations. 